Hello, welcome again. My name is Raymond Andrade. I am some guy at random. And in this time, we are going to continue working on Mono Develop C Sharp Solutions. This one, well, this series, we're going to build a simple CRUD MVC entity framework solution. I thought it would be a good thing to do because there seems to be some ins and outs of building an ASP.NET MVC solution using Mono Develop. It's not as intuitive as using Visual Basic. Anyway, I want to choose the .NET MVC Razor project with unit tests. The name of the project, well, since it's about Entity Framework, I'm just going to call it, uh, well, I'm going to call it Web, the Web, and the solution name will be something like Entity Framework MVC. I'll put this in my Projects folder, create the folder with directory, and create. The first thing that I might want to do, as it's adding and getting its packages in, is just to see if it runs well. So let's start with Mono Sharp Debugger, and there it is. I should see the local host here. Welcome to MVC 5.2 on Mono. So let's close you down. So now, what we need to do. It's not what we we'll really need to do, but I see that there are three updates that are, that are available. I know from experience that if you update this one, it just ruins your project, or it makes the project stop running. These two updates are safe to take, so I'm going to take those. The, um, the next thing is to get Twitter Bootstrap, because I think a, a project that looks has Twitter Bootstrap will look pretty good. So we'll go over here to the NuGet Manager, where is it, Packages, Add Package, and we'll go Bootstrap, P, and um, what I want is, I um, can't remember what I call it, what it was called, I think it's add-ons, or add-ins, uh, yeah, right here, uh, Bootstrap Additions. And the reason why I choose this is because it contains like the date picker and all those really nice things. So we will add that package. And incidentally, before we go on, um, it's bootstrap, um, what is dependencies? 3.34 is the dependency that it works on. And it also adds jQuery. So now we have that. The next thing I would like to do is let's navigate over to this closest them because um, I don't know I don't want to get too confusing but let's go over to the where is it views and we will look at the shared layout part this is the skeleton and the body is where we what we're what it is in here anyway to add bootstrap let me open up explore on Netscape I know I'm we're talking about a a um, Microsoft technology C sharp um, ASP.NET and all those, and you know, I'm thinking, you know, Explorer. But no, this is, I'm using Firefox, safe assured. And let's go to the Get Started page. And what I'm really looking for is way down here at the bottom, I believe, right here, is the templates. So this is the template that I want to use. And this is exactly how I use, how I sort it. I guess used it. I view page source and I control all, control C, and pretty much I'm going to put it under here and I'm going to get rid of everything on top. Okay? So let's go through here. This is the title. So let's get, let's move this title to do, 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 where is the title in here? Da, 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 title, 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 title. You see it, but I don't. Why? And we're both looking at the same screen. There it is, title. Okay. Because it has a view bag in it, so the title will adjust as we send views to the particular layout that this houses. The uh, render body, that goes in a, in a section called container. So let's do that. Right here is the container. And we will put it right here. Okay. 
that's where my render body goes and pretty much I think I don't need anything else up here so let's get rid of this now not all these links are going to resolve in fact not all of them we really need so like I don't need a favorite icon yet but I, I say yet because I want to add it later on so I want to put this around it put some comments around it and let me see uh, bootstrap min of course we need that but we have it located in oh this is one of the things that I should have mentioned earlier when we added bootstrap it added another folder called content with a lowercase c I'm not exactly sure why mono develop does these kind of things for example when you add something like when we're going to add entity framework you'll see that it'll add a lowercase w web config I like to sort of consolidate things or at least put them in one thing that makes logical sense so I'll do exactly that let's just move these to control X to content paste and we're going to control X this one to content paste and yes it is a move and we can go in here and let's delete this remove delete just to make sure that we're safe and sound let's run the project well next we'll run it after we we uh, resolve all the um, URLs so our first one was is uh, min CSS so that happens to be this one right here and it's in the content folder so forward slash C O N T E N T the next one I don't really care too much about IE workarounds and I don't ha need the star well I I don't need the starter template but I want to use the starter template probably later so I'm going to comment the starter template out uh, IE workarounds I'll resolve that when that comes around I'm not that interested in that so I don't know where that resolves um, IE9 again I'll get rid of that. I'm not really sure where that resolves. And this also. Okay. I think that should be sufficient. So up in the top, the only thing that we retained is the bootstrap min CSS. Uh, on the bottom, it says it needs jQuery. So let's go over here. Get rid of this. At 11.3 seems to be the minimum. Which jQuery do we have? We have version... Um, 1.9 that should work so let's go over here where is it resolved at it's those are our modules that the reason why we why we got bootstrap and um, that would be probably in scripts here it is and it's just scripts so doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, what is it S E R I P T S forward slash scripts and it's 1.19 so that goes right here minus 1.19 uh, I guess we can save this since this is the only thing that's missed is to be replaced in the this part right here um, okay and gosh more workarounds let's get rid of that so let's run this and see where we're at so we run with monosoft debugger we got the bootstrap located where we want to and everything looks good but we're missing the the um the phrase you know welcome to asp.net whatever that phrase happens to be in the body and the reason is because for what some reason there's not enough margin on the top so we need to add some margin to the top and the margin that I'm going to add is in this style clip let's put it right here underneath all this there um, basically and I need to close the style now basically it just puts a six pixel padding on top to make the center to go all the way to the bottom of the 
toolbar. So let's save this. And now if we look at this and refresh this, we see welcome to ASP.NET NBC 5.2 on mono. That's it for this part. The next one we're just going to install Entity Framework and after that we'll probably end up testing a CRUD or building database. Keep coming back. I'm some guy at random. My name is Ray. Ciao.